the nuclear accident at Fukushima Daiichi spread radioactive contamination overland stretching for dozens of kilometers. More than three and a half years later, authorities still classify many affected areas as evacuation zones, and they've designated one particular area a no-entry zone. The radiation level is so high, people who once lived there face the prospect of never returning home. NHK World's Ryo Asami joined one evacuee who went back for a look. Akinori Shibata and his family once lived in Namie, a rural municipality not far from Fukushima Daiichi. The nuclear accident forced them to evacuate some 30 kilometers west to the city of Nihonmatsu, where they now live. Shibata made a tough decision earlier this year. He gave up on the idea of returning to Namie and decided to start a new life. This is my second hometown now. Over there is my real home, but we can't even enter that area. Still, Shibata is eager to follow the situation in Namie. So he's applied to enter the restricted zone with some radiation experts from Niigata University, led by Professor Makoto Naito. Since the nuclear accident, the group has been involved in regular surveys in Namie. They allowed me to follow them into the restricted area. We are right in front of the no-entry zone around Fukushima Daiichi. Access beyond this point is restricted. We need this two-day permit to get in. According to Naito's research, average radiation levels went down in the no entry zone. But they remain high in some areas. Then we accompanied Shibata to his home. It's been about six months since he last visited. The house has become moldy and full of cobwebs. It's clear the family had to pack in a rush. The hands of this clock are frozen at the exact time the disaster struck. Shibata finds some belongings that have a special meaning for the family, his children's school diplomas. My kids worked hard to get these, so I'd really like to take them back with me. But they're contaminated, so I can't. The researchers take some measurements around the house. The experts explain to Shibata that radiation is still too high for people to move back. Radiation levels are very high in this area. I think making a quick decision was the right thing to do. I want my aging parents to enjoy the rest of their lives, and my children still have a future. That's why I want to give them a normal life in a normal house. Many evacuees like the Shibatas are weighing a similar decision. They are torn between the hope of going back one day and giving up entirely to make a clean start. Ryo Asami, NHK World, Namie, Fukushima.